Welcome everyone. I'm Marilyn from Lotus Art Qigong and we are here to do some Qigong today. So let's get started. The first move that we love to start with in Lotus Heart Qigong is swinging the arms. Why do we swing the arms? Because this opens up the spine. The spine is where we hold so much tension. So just take some nice deep breaths and swing your arms. You can come up on your toes if it's comfortable. Swing as far as it's comfortable. Taking some nice deep breaths and just relaxing into the moment, into Qigong. We are working with life force energy, which is Qi. Qigong's been around for a very long time, 5,000 years or more. There's all different forms of Qigong, and this is just one of them. So my partner and I, David, will be doing several videos uh, different things for the heart, for the different organs, the yang organs, the yin organs, you name it. We'll be doing it. So now we're going to move our arms down to the thoracic spine. This works the central channel and it just opens up the back, gets us uh, moving and feeling the energy. <clears throat> Nice deep breath, moving down to the lumbar spine, swinging the arms, feeling that twist in the spine. This also helps with digestion and the spinal fluid. Perfect, now we're going to move into something we call knocking on the door flat. What we're doing when we knock on the right side of the body is we're opening up the liver and the gallbladder. When we're knocking on the uh, left side of the body, we're opening up the spleen and the stomach. And then in the back of the body, we are opening up the kidneys and the bladder. They're all different pairs of organs, yin and yang. And um, we're working with six organs by doing this. Just opening up, letting the energy flow, and then we move up right below the collarbone to lung one, lung two. As we open up the lungs, we're also opening up the large intestine. So now we're working on eight organs that were just creating more circulation, less stagnation, taking deep breaths, relaxing into the moment, enjoying yourself. That's the key to Shigong. All right, we're going to come up over the shoulders. We're knocking on gallbladder 21. This is the main point for tension. We all feel some tension in the spine from time to time in the shoulders. So we're knocking on this area. As we open this up, the gallbladder is paired with the liver. So we're working with the liver energy as well. Our protective energy 
that is around us. So we're just creating this energy. And as we're doing this, we're thinking about grounding into the earth and yet feeling strong and um, aligned with the universe as well. The yin energy is earth-like energy. The yang energy is more effervescent, universal, masculine. Yin is more feminine, more cooling, more calming. We're going to slow that movement down and start to feel a little bit of a tingle. We're just getting started with this energy process. You may feel a little bit of tingle in your fingers. If you do, that's wonderful. That's your life force energy. If not, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. The chi knows what to do. We're slowing that down. We're just loving your hands down. And as we float them down, we just sink that energy right down to the earth. This is yin energy. The black fish with the white fish. So we just float the energy down and then we just gradually bring that energy up through the body, through the spirit, through the emotions, our heart. Bringing up when we get to the heart, it becomes more effervescent, more golden, more light. And then we just let that energy come around us. The combination of earth and universal energy. Then we float our hands to surrender, taking a nice deep breath and just tucking the pelvis in a bit, having the shoulders come back and down, chin comes in a bit. We're just envisioning grounded into the earth, yet having golden orbs of light just forming in our spine and keeping us aligned up to the top so that we have this channel that is open for energy. Let's shake it out. <clears throat> We're going to start the flow. We're just going to open to something we call she rises, she falls. So we're going to rise, inhale, <clears throat> exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. She rises, she floats down. Then we're going to take that energy up all the way. She expands, she contracts. She floats down, she rises, she expands, she contracts, she sinks. Let's do this a few times. Open, open your heart lungs, sink the energy down, come up, open your heart lungs, contract, Float the hands down to surrender and check in. How is your body? How is your lotus heart jewel, your beautiful heart, where we store our emotions? And how is Shem, your spirit? How is your connection to that higher source, however you align? Hold that for just a minute and just check in. The next thing we're going to do is start rocking and move back and forth with our little chi and our shaft of light. We're going to come down, we're going to gather energy up with our palms up. We come up to the top. When we get to the top, palms come down to the earth and we circle. Up and down. Just getting into your own energy with this. Qigong is all about balancing the earth with the universe, the yin with the yang. That's the beauty of Qigong. It's a balancing practice. Up, 
come around, come down, and then we'll go the other direction. Scooping up, gathering up earth energy. Come down, let the hand float. Two more, we're gonna come up, gather that energy, get to the top, float the hands down, last one. Come up and hold, hold that energy. And then we're just gonna envision sunlight coming in and down around our body. Beautiful golden sunlight coming into our spirit, coming into our beautiful lotus heart jewel, our emotional flow, and then coming down to the physical body, to that lower area, which is called the lower dantian. So we just bring that energy in, breathing in, and then let the hands come down, and then we float the hands to what we call surrender. Checking in. We're going to shake out the feet and we're going to start some exercises. We're going to start with something we call Heart to the Universe, where you're going to open up your arms and your heart and your lungs and look up. And then spread, uh, open your legs a little bit more and we're going to come down to what we call Drinking Bird. We come up and down. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, open the heart. We'll do two more. Breathe in. Open and hold. Just hold open to the universe. And then come down. And then we're going to stay down here. And just like we're diving into a pool of water, we're going to hold this for just a moment. And then we're going to scoop up energy bring it in. We come down and up. Breathing in, breathing out. This is called the peristaltic pump and this works so well with the core, our core. Also, it works with uh, the digestion, with the liver, the gallbladder, the spleen, and the stomach. In and out. In and out. Getting into your space, your energy. All right, let's do two more. Last one, come in, come into horse stance, which is a little bit uh, more open with the legs. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna come into something we call the turtle. So we're gonna hold this. This is an intense posture, but it's so good for so many things on your body. So we're gonna hold this turtle we're going to keep that alignment though. We're not sinking down like this. We're keeping that alignment, that channel of light. So we're holding and then we're pulsing. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. And just hold that for just a few more minutes. No, not even a few more minutes. This is good. All right, let's shake it out. The next exercise, we're gonna stay in that horse stance. Hands on the hip, and we're gonna stretch, just stretching out the glutes and the hamstrings, stretch, back and forth, stretch, stretch. This is great for the legs. It's great to stretch out those legs. Perfect. You guys are doing a great job. I know. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to add arms. I'm going to go as we come this direction. We're going to just blow a bit. The best way to do this is just figure eight. Back and forth. That infinity sign. Back and forth. This is called moving like a river. We're moving with the flow of life. We're moving in a sinuous path, back and forth. In California, it is winter right now. The element is water. This is uh, especially uh, works with the kidney energy, so it's a good time of year to drink a lot of water. Our skin can get dry, we can feel dry. Just drink your water and flow back and forth. <clears throat> back and forth. We're going to open that lower area, that lower dantian, by moving back and forth. Then we open our beautiful lotus heart jewel which are the, the element, I mean the uh, emotions, that flow of emotions in our lotus heart jewel. And then we move up to our spirit. Let's open our spirit for wisdom, for intuition. Open, coming back down to the heart, and then down to the lower dantian, the physicality of the body. And let your hands just go where they may, wherever that is, it's perfect. The beauty of Qigong is you can't ever do anything wrong. You're moving your body. It's the best thing in the world for you and for all ages as well. All right, so we just, Slowly but surely edging our feet in. Then we're going to take the backs of our hands. We're going to come down and envision pulling up that water. We're at the end of the river and we're just bringing that water to cleanse and purify us. We bring it up all the way past the crown. Then just like a geyser, it comes around the body. And then we move to surrender. Check in again. Take a nice deep breath. Perfect. Shake it out. Okay, last of the exercises. This is a great one, spinal cord breathing. So we're going to lightly put our hands on our thighs, come up like heart to the universe, but this time we're going to bring our elbows in and come down. Open and close. Feel the stretch in the spine. Let's do that one more time. And 
down on this next one. We're going to go to the right so we twist our spine. Come down. Come center. And twist to the other direction. Center. We'll do two more. So wherever you are in the process, and come up. Center. Last one. Stretch open. Then take your arms. And like we did earlier, we're just going to bring that energy of light, golden light, effervescent light that comes down. Gravity brings the arms down and we just let everything float down to balance that beautiful yin energy of the earth. We move to surrender. We check in. Make sure those shoulders are back and down. Chin is in, pelvis is, is tucked in a bit. Deep breath. The last series we're going to do is we're going to work with the chi ball. And we are going to just start playing with chi, playing with life force energy. So we're just, you can close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. Just pulse. There's going to be at some point where you feel some resistance. So you can pulse up, you can pulse down. Just feel where that energy, this is a healing ball of light that you've created in this practice. So it's beautiful. Just work the energy. Then take one arm above, one below. Your hands are still holding that chi ball. And you're going to come around. All as far as you can, and then you're going to turn the wheel the other way. This is called turning the ball. We're just going to go back and forth. Yeah, with this, you can come as far as works for your for your spine. You may feel a bit of an adjustment, which is a wonderful kind of added benefit of this. Back and forth. Just envisioning chi, what we cultivated today. This is beautiful. just like we're pushing out our pillar of light. We're going to grasp the ball, come back and around, fair lady circles this is called, and then push out. Beautiful. Just come around with your chi, playing with chi. Push out, come around, Push out. Push. Grab. 
last step up and around. And push, exaggerate the moment if it's movement and it's comfortable. Last one. We're going to slow that down just a bit so we can really feel the energy of that tree. And we push. Last one. Grab the ball. Come down to the earth. Come up to the universe. Come around. And push. Now we're going to grab the ball. Come down. Come up. <clears throat> come around. One hand comes out and the other hand comes back. It's just it, where the hand that is back gets the weight. Then we grab the ball, loop around, and we move the other direction. It's like we're pointing. This is called immortal points the way. Ball, come around and let it go. Grab your ball, come down, let it go. Two more. Slow it down. Grab the ball. Move around up to the universe. Come down. Stretch and hold. Feel the stretch. Feel that energy. Grab the ball. Come around. This is the last one. Come around and stretch. And slow down with the surrender. And touch with your ball again. Pulse this. And we're going to bring, we're going to just condense that ball. Littler and littler until it's a beautiful, effervescent pearl of light. This is what we've cultivated today in this practice. And this is something you can take with you for the rest of the day. Just, just make that a nice little pearl. And then we're going to take that pearl and we're going to go right into the lower Dantian. This is where we store that energy. So we bring it right in <clears throat> and then we turn the ball here. We just turn that pearl, just really getting in touch with our awareness of where the chi is in our body now. And it doesn't matter which hand is in front because we're going to switch it up when we go the opposite way. Okay, look, after this, we're going to go the other way. Change hands in front, and then just bring that energy in. <clears throat> and just feel good about what you've practiced today. You've done a great job just being here. Just doing this. All right. Lovely and beautiful. We're going to bring our feet in and we're going to do something we call centering. So palm on palm, we're going to take, if you're marrying me, you're going to take your left arm and you're going to come up and you're going to gather all that beautiful chi and bring it right through the crown of the head down that central channel float into your other hand. Going the other direction, bring that energy through. Feel good about all the energy you've cultivated through this practice. This is centering. We're centering that energy. I'm going to do two more. We'll slow it down. Bringing energy through the crown and the third eye and our beautiful heart. Down to the lower dantian. Last one. Scoop up energy. Bring it down to the crown. 
just come on down, bring it all the way through. Palm on palm. Nice deep breath. Prayer hands at the heart. <clears throat> May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be peace. And may all beings be loved. Again, love your heart for a minute. Your lotus heart jewel. Just hold it. And now we'll talk personally. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free from suffering. May I be peace. And most importantly, may I be loved. And may I, may I spread that love throughout the universe. Deep breath. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for your practice. And thank you for watching. Namaste.